heart is pounding. I'm so scared. <laughs> Country. I have never traveled this far before. The furthest I've ever gone was Wisconsin. I'll be okay. I'll be okay. I'll be fine. I'm fine. I'm literally fine. <laughs> oh my god. So, right now, I need a pack. I started. Yeah. But I have not finished. All my liquids have to fit in this bag. Let's fill them up. I feel like one of the biggest mistakes that everybody makes is putting too much product in their travel bottles because I never finish these. So. I'm only gonna be in California for three days, so I'm not gonna fill these all up. I always pack way too much and use not even half of the things that I pack. And it annoys me so much because the whole time I'm thinking, I could have just brought a carry on. So this time I'm really forcing myself to only bring a carry on. Well, possibly two carry ons. I think I, I need two carry ons, but it's not going well so far. <laughs> What would I take out? I need everything. A few moments later. Okay, they all fit, but only because I took out probably the two most important things. Body wash and toothpaste. I plan on hitting up Target when I get there. And I might as well pick up these things. Hair care and skin care is more important. <laughs> Alright, so now for the best part. Picking the outfits. Yay! So I'm going to Sacramento. We've got like similar weather. No, it's colder. Why is it colder in Sacramento than Maryland? I thought it was gonna be in like nice warm weather, but it's cold. So tomorrow it's 69 degrees, Tuesday 73, Wednesday 73, and then Thursday doesn't even matter because I'm leaving at like 4 a.m. Anyway, so here's my travel outfit. Here's what I'm gonna wear. Ta-da! Super comfy. Sorry, had to flex on ya. Ew, this feels so like first world. Ugh. Anyways, I'm bougie now, so. Ooh! No, I'm not. I'm really not. I actually bought these headphones secondhand. They were refurbished, so. This is my dinner outfit. Very simple. Like I said, I'm trying to pack as little as possible. That means rewearing some clothes, but that's totally fine. Easy day. Just going to the photo shoot. Won't even be wearing this for that long. Okay, let's see if any of this fits in my fucking suitcase because my suitcase is so small. Is this what it's like to not overpack? Is this what it's like to not let your anxiety win? We're moving up in the world, guys. And then I've got a backpack. Oh my gosh, do you want to know something kind of embarrassing that I bring with me everywhere? I don't know if I've mentioned this before or not, but this is my baby blanket. <sighs> And I don't ever plan on letting her go, even when she's like two strands. Like I just, I'm too attached to this one object. There's just, there's no, you know what? She's not even an object. She has a soul, okay? Into the backpack. I think I'm good. I think I have everything. I don't know. This is all I'm bringing with me across the country. You guys do not know how incredibly proud I am of myself. <laughs> if you guys watch my New York trip, I brought a huge suitcase for one day, literally not even 24 hours. I'd say I'm bringing about like the same amount, but I'm going across the country and for four days, three nights. Pat on my back, okay? If I start crying in a few days about wanting something and not packing it, that will be a huge problem because then I'm always going to overpack. I think we're ready. <gasps> I'm so scared, guys. I'm so scared.
Hey guys, we're here at the airport now. Ah, I'm really bad to be on a plane by myself. I got here two hours early and security, there was basically like no line. I got through security pretty quick and now I'm just here waiting for two hours. I'll keep y'all updated. I was terrified, bro. I'm scared of heights. I mean, being in an airplane and looking out the window is different. It feels like a video game. We're about halfway through at this point. I was just watching Netflix the whole time. And when the drinks and snacks came by, I was so excited. Oh my gosh, why was I so excited for airplane water? Like, I was like, oh my God, I'm drinking water in the sky. And then I got a granola bar and it was kind of nasty. Um, I saw some farmland. I don't know what state we passed that had this, but it was giving aliens. And then we went over the Rocky Mountains. This part was so sick. I was so freaking excited. Like, I couldn't stop taking videos of this it was it was so sick and then i saw some some big hole in the ground i thought that was so interesting and then i layovered at salt lake city salt lake city has the prettiest airport i've ever been in but yeah we landed safe and sound and then we were on our way to sacramento which was only like an hour and a half flight so right before landing i was about to order myself an uber but then i got a text from a driver named carlos and they were like hey i'm outside in a black suv and i was like what <laughs> What? I'm not used to this special trait, man. And you know what? Right when I landed, the song that was playing in my head the whole time was Party in the USA. I hopped off the plane at LAX with a dream and a cardigan. I'm in California. I'm in California. I'm in California. <gasps> what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> oh, you guys already know what we have to do. You guys already know what we have to do. <laughs> Guys, I'm in Cali. Oh, I don't even know what to do with myself. And then I have a dinner tonight, and I don't know who I'm gonna meet. And I'm so excited to meet people. But at the same time, absolutely terrified. I haven't socialized in years. I haven't socialized since Corona. Literally. My fault entirely. I bought this expensive neck pillow. I mean, talk about support for your neck. Also, you can't wear headphones with these. I mean, at least I can't. Look, my ears are smushed. They're smushed. And my AirPods fell out. Oh my God. <laughs> That's what happened on the plane. I had my AirPods on. I didn't have the big ones. I had my small ones. I literally brought three different headphones to this trip. I don't know why. This one fell out of my ear under the seat. And I had to turn around and be like, I'm so sorry, but I just dropped my AirPod under there. I'm wondering if you can get it for me. What am I doing here? What am I doing here? I'm having really bad imposter syndrome. Uh, Damn. It's got LED lights, guys. It's got LED lights. Whoa! It even comes with the bathroom comes with a separate mirror. Oh my gosh! And this is the shower. Okay, room tour. So when you first walk in to the left, um, you've got you know mirror, storage compartments or whatever. And then we've got the bathroom here with this cool slidey door with the hail. Isn't it crazy? It's got LED lights. I already mentioned that. Yeah, so this is the shower. I'm traumatized. I just stepped on a puddle in a hotel with my sock. Okay, anyways. Wow. Little fridge. Word. Period. Um, I guess I can make coffee and pay $7 for water. King size bed or whatever. Yep. Mm-hmm little desk there so i can edit okay okay i might have to uber to the target oh i really don't want to go out by myself hello how are you I've got Pringles here. I have a really bad habit of not eating when I'm anxious. I'm a little anxious, so I probably won't eat anything. I just got this so I wouldn't starve, you know? Granola bars for the morning, breakfast. <laughs> breakfast and dinner, guys, do not take after me, okay? Sometimes I read comments and they're like, girl, you're my role model. And I'm like, I'm your role model? Anyways, didn't want to rack up this guy's credit card, so I got my own water. I even made a fake account for this hotel so I can get free Wi-Fi. I finally got toothpaste, good. I even got dry shampoo for my hair. I don't wanna wash it for the dinner and it already looks pretty disgusting, which is 
annoying. So let's just do this right now. Oh shit. What if I just like did this and then like all my dandruff just fell out? I have intrusive thoughts whenever I use dry shampoo. I always want to cover my entire head with dry shampoo just to see what I would look like with white hair. And then I got this clay mask. I think this is a pink clay mask. I mean, it says pink clay mask, you know what I mean? Like I, I'm hoping it's, it's pink. Jump scare. I wish it was like hot pink cause that would have been sick, but it's pink nonetheless. It's 6.30 now. I'm so jet lagged. I have dinner in like 30 minutes. The restaurant's literally downstairs, so I'm in no rush. All right, it is 15 minutes before dinner. This is the fit. I'm wearing all black. California. I don't even feel like I'm actually here. I feel like I'm in a dream, which honestly wouldn't be such a bad thing because I miss my husband so much right now. I've held back so many years because I have attachment issues at my ripe age of 22. Do I look dinner ready? Final fit check. <laughs> this is it. It's all black. It's so simple. Let's go grab some dinner. Let's go meet new people. We got this, we got this. The dinner was great. I'm still kind of like, you know. <sighs> I was talking with this one lady. She was talking about how she was an extrovert introvert she loves being in the crowd being involved but when she's actually in the crowd she likes to keep to herself and just observe and it just clicked in my brain and she honestly helped me understand myself better is this what happens when you talk to strangers maybe i'll start making friends i think i'm gonna be in my friend making era it's about damn time okay i haven't socialized since quarantine You know, I didn't bring body wash because I knew the hotel would have body wash and the body wash bottle doesn't work. I had to clean my body with shampoo. Look, I already lost two nails. Oops, sorry. I don't know how I was just sleeping. I've got an hour and a half to do my hair and makeup. The makeup is finished. Kind of cute if you don't look too close. <laughs> wow, just woke up for the first time. On the west coast Got my backpack ready Packed a few things for the shoot Ready for a long day Wow. Mm, sorry. I'm going to sleep even though the sun's up. That was really fun. We went to three different locations. The people are so nice. Everyone is so nice. We have another shoot tomorrow. Um, 8.30 a.m. So, mm, I'll see you guys then. Twelve o'clock midnight. Oh my god. I'm so glad I went to that dinner. And you guys know I have no friends, okay? Let alone influencer friends. So I can't really go out and talk to people and relate about content creating. So it was just nice. You guys are witnessing this firsthand. And I've never even said this alone. I'm proud of myself because I pushed myself to my limits. Honestly. Past my limits coming to this trip. An hour before my flight, I was like, should I cancel? Should I just lie and say like, so many of my family died? Because I do not want to fly across the country by myself. Push yourself past your limit and you'll have the best time ever. Guys, I'm having a blast. <laughs> it 
Fitbit check. It is currently 7.30 a.m. 10.30 a.m. for me. So I'm wide awake. And I have to meet up with the team in like 45 minutes. Going down. Follow me on Instagram so you can see the ad. An actual photo shoot for a brand. Like I've I've never done that and it is such a vibe. I feel like I got so lucky because the people were so nice and I feel like everyone's chemistry worked really well together. I was a little shy though, I'm not gonna lie. But I'm super proud of myself for doing this. I'm never gonna forget this. Look at these sick shoes that I got. I had a different pair. Sarah liked my shoes and I liked her shoes. So we were like, let's switch. So we did. Yay! I've got new Reeboks. It's currently like something like 4 a.m., which is an ungodly hour. But I'm running late and my car is gonna be here in like 20 minutes and I have not started packing. So yeah, I've gotta, I gotta fucking dash. All right, we're ready. Let's dip because my driver just got here. the sweatshirt. <laughs> it's so big. I just went through security. The alarm literally went off down there. And oh, my pants. You guys know what pants I'm wearing. The jorts. These are men's jorts and they're size 30 waist. My waist is 26. She was like screening me and like taking my pants down at the same time. My pants almost fell off. She was like, okay, just hold your pants up. Oh, that's so embarrassing.